as const is a very useful feature when writing types with TypeScript. It allows you to be very specific with your types. It's a way of telling TypeScript that when inferring types, instead of using generic types like strings, numbers, boolean, you are able to be specific about the literal type that you expect. I'm going to show you some examples in this video so you can see how useful they are. So here we have an array const values and then in this array we have one two three from these typescript would infer that this variable holds an array of numbers and if i should introduce a string on typescript is going to infer that this variable holds an array of either strings or numbers but here is the thing typescript is using generic types like string and numbers which means we can come here and we can push another number and everything would work fine we can push another string and everything will work fine but when we attempt to push a boolean then we get an error that this boolean is not assignable to strings or numbers now in some cases or maybe even most cases this is actually what you want you want your variable to contain an array of generic types like strings or numbers but in some other cases you might want to be very specific about the types that your variable can accept in this case we can use literal types and unions so here we can say that values should hold either one or two or hello as an array so here we have narrowed our type and here you can see that instead of having strings or numbers array we now have very specific one or two or hello array well instead of repeating yourself having one two hello here and having one two hello here this is where you can use as const so i can take all of this away and then i can use as const here and when you hover on values now you can see we have read only with an array of one two and hello and it is also read only which means you cannot modify this array if i try to push we're going to have an error this is read only so push does not exist on that but here is the fun part when you try to assess a value in this array and then we use the index of zero what you see is that result holds a type of one and one is the first item in our array if i should use an index of one here you see re result holds a type of two if i should use the index of two you can see result holds a type of hello if i should remove this as const and i should hover on result you can see result holds a type of string or number which is generic but then by introducing as const we are able to sort of lock this array as a type and now by hovering on result we already know what result is so even if values is like 10,000 lines above from here we can see the exact type that we're referencing so this is what i mean when i say as const allows you to be very specific about your types and this is an example with arrays let's look at an example with objects here i have this object called dutch translate I'm currently learning Dutch. So here we have the English version as the key and Dutch version as the value. Now, if we should hover on Dutch translation, what you see here is that TypeScript infers that the type for this object is hello string, good morning string, difficult string, grandma string. Again, these are generic types. And you can also modify this object by saying Dutch translation dot grandma equals to root mother, mother. This is still a string, but then you cannot say Dutch translation dot grandma is equal to 10 because TypeScript has already inferred that grandma as a property is supposed to hold a string value. But then instead of having all of these properties and string as the type, how can we make this more specific? Again, we can introduce as const and now when we hover on this you can see we are now more specific the hello property has a type of hoy instead of a generic type of string it has the literal string type so now we can say const good morning is a course to dodge translation and then we can pass good morning when i hover on this what do we get we actually get the dodge translation if I should remove as const, good morning is going to have a type of string. But by using as const, again, I have sort of locked this object. So TypeScript can inspect the property and the value. And then those values would serve as literal types for the property. So hovering on good morning, we get the actual type for good morning, which is the string literal type of good morning. 
And if I should do good mornings here, which is a key that doesn't exist because I'm using bracket notation here, in this case, I get any. So this is very helpful because when you're building applications, you don't always have to go check this object to see what good morning is because you have already locked the structure of that object in the face of TypeScript. Now, when we have good morning here, you can actually see what good morning is, which is this type. And again, because this is read only, it means you cannot do dot translation dot grammar and pass something here. That is not going to work because this property is a read only property. Now let's look at another example, which is using as const with template literals. Here I have this domain. Actually, this is my decode website. I have this root part. Then I have this function get full part. It takes a root and then it takes a slug and then it returns this as the full part, which is a combination of the domain, the root and the slug. Now let's say I wanted to use this function here and then I have as const tutorial get full part tutorials for the root and as const TypeScript for the slug. If I should hover on as const tutorial, you can see we get string as the type, which actually makes sense because here we are returning a string from this function. But then I can be very specific about what this string looks like if I should introduce as const. So if I should come here and use as const again, now watch what the type of as const tutorial is going to be. You can see that the type of as const tutorial literally is a union of all the positive forms of strings that we can get from this function because we have used as const again to be very specific about what that string looks like. And now if I should come here and also introduce another part, let's just say about, which is going to reflect here for the root, you can see we have slash about at the end. So instead of just telling us this variable is going to hold a string, we can now see what exactly that string looks like thanks to as const. I hope this example shows you how useful as const can be. In some cases, you want the generic types, but in some other cases, you want to know exactly what your type looks like. And as we also saw, this can be very helpful. Instead of having to come check this function and see what our string is going to look like when we pass different arguments, we can actually see what it looks like just by hovering on the variable. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, share with others, and subscribe for more simplified TypeScript videos like this.